everyone, welcome back to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today we are reviewing um, something that I bought for my wife. And I think she's going to absolutely love it. So men out there, take a, take a cue. Your lady, hey, maybe even your man of your life might like this. This is probably the back brace for it. So this is a jewelry cabinet with a mirror and we're going to set it up and, you know, show you guys all of that. And this is how it looks. It doesn't fully open. So as you guys can see, you have different slots for different stuff. Um, these are shelves. So these are different shelves. You got one, two, three shelves, uh, four shelves. You got two little boxes that you pull out. Over here, you can hang your necklaces and whatnot and just different slots up here for other stuff as well. And the two pockets. Up in here is for rings and anything that sets in. So for example, this is a ring. We would go ahead, place that in, so you can put the ring right there. All right, so we got it set up here. Make sure everything's on tight. So the mirror itself can be adjusted on the back here a little bit with little pins that you put in the holes. Um, it's pretty simple and pretty basic how this works. So it does seem, now we have it on carpet, you probably want to put it on ground that's smooth. And I'm also going to put a bracket on the back, that way it never falls. I don't think it ever would, but just for extra security, I like to be safe. So I'm going to put some extra stuff on the back to give some weight on the back. But uh, yeah, it's nice. I think she's going to absolutely love it. Now again, it's on carpet. If it's on something smooth, which it should be. Um, if you guys have carpet, maybe lay something down that's like wood or hard or something that it can stay flat on. That would be great. All right, I'm going to show you guys up close now how it looks. So you got all these little grooves for different stuff. Two big knobs for hanging stuff. You got tons of these little almost like hooks up in here for rings and whatever else you can fit in. So just slide. If you can see them, you can push right in. So it's this simple, you know, you just press it in and it's in there. Um, little pockets here. Shelves and just little drawers right in here. Nothing crazy, but uh, yeah, you know, this is pretty awesome. My wife's definitely going to love this. I wonder if we should take this plastic piece off of the lock. That might, that might need to come off. But uh, yeah, so to set it up, these two pins go wherever you want to place them in the center. You got these two boards here. One wood pin goes on this side in this board. One goes on the other one. And then you got the metal bolt that goes through. You got two bolts that go through. So you got one bolt, two bolts, one bolt, two bolts. One wooden peg goes in the the big hole. You put them in a while and then you just line it up. So there'll be these same pegs. One would go in. So it would be probably like that. One would go inside this wood and you just line it up. It's, it's very simple. I recommend maybe um, finding a place permanently for this and then drilling down in and bolt it down or something. That way there's more weight on the back. That's just my opinion, but, uh, you know, teach their own, but it's really nice. I'm very happy with it. 
and I know my wife's going to be happy with it as well. So I'm guessing we take this plastic piece off here of the lock. Can't imagine that would stay on. But we'll just set it there in case it does. So then this is the lock. It's very simple. Now the moment you all have been waiting for. There you go. And it looks great.